And there is new video tonight. Shots fired at the Denver 420 rally as people run for their lives. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live outside DVD headquarters. Jacqueline, police know at least one suspect has been caught on camera. Yeah, the Denver Police Gang Unit is taking over the investigation today, and they know that this is getting worldwide attention, this story, and so they want to get out the video that could lead them to the shooter. In the fog of pot over the 420 rally, plenty of cameras are rolling when shots ring out. The overall feel of it was... Uh pretty tragic. Political blogger Brandon Morse just happens to be shooting video as this man runs into frame, then slows to a walk, blending into the crowd. But police say he's a possible suspect who helped the shooter get away. You inadvertently captured one of the possible suspects on camera. Yeah, that's amazing. I didn't realize I did that, um, but that's citizen journalism for you. He's not alone. He was like right here, and I'm standing right here. Photography student Alexander Pringle actually sees the shooter open fire and manages to get this photo of him running away. Away. Police say three people were shot, two in the leg, including this man. Pringle, using his training as a former Army medic, makes a tourniquet from the man's belt, trying to stop the bleeding. Just put a tourniquet on, crank down, and then we're good. Sean Ish took off his shirt to help. He was standing next to the victim and says someone punched him in the face just before a bullet flew by. Thankfully, nobody was killed. They got lucky, really. So I think, if, if anything, we should be just grateful for that. Witnesses I talked to believe that this was some sort of gang fight or previous altercation, that it was not related direct, directly to the rally, but that it came to a head there. Police are offering a reward and hoping that video will lead to a suspect. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.